What's up, Cal gang? All right, we got some uh, sketching, some uh, functions with respect to t, and uh, yeah, so let's give us a shot. So it gives us this function saying r of t is equal to e to the 2ti plus e to the tj. So what is this telling us? Well, it's telling us that i moves with respect to this function with t, and y moves with respect to this function to t, right? So let's see, it wants us to find that t is equal to zero, so that's pretty simple. Uh, I always like to try to get a good image of what this graph is going to look like first, and um, I might be able to figure it out. But let's start at t is, or t is equal to 0. So r of 0, right, is equal to, so it's e to the 2, 0. So it's going to be 1, because e to the 0 is 1, and then also e to the 0 is 1. So this is a position, right? This is telling us that at r of 0, it's going to be equal to 1, 1, right? It's a vector, basically, from here. So that's where it's at. All right, so how about uh, r of 1? Let's see what happens at r of 1. So it's going to be e to the 2, and then e. So this is going to go somewhere along, like here maybe. So you can kind of tell this is going to go shoot off in this direction. That was ugly. Okay, boom. It's going to shoot off in that direction. But then when you go negative, so what you know about e is it can neg never be negative, right? If you have it, uh, like a negative 1 million is t, that's just going to be a very tiny little number but it's never gonna cross. So it kind of gives me this idea that it's gonna go down here, down here, down here, it's gonna approach, but it's never gonna to touch zero. So it kind of goes like that. And you can kind of see how that would expand out. All right, so now it wants us to find our prime of t. So what is our prime of t? Well, it's just the derivative of this function, basically. So let's go right here. Our prime of t is equal to, so you just wanna take the derivative of both sides, right? So this is gonna be two e to the two t. And this is going to be e to the t, right? Uh, that's ugly. So that's what our prime of t is. And basically, if you plug in any number for t here, you're going to get a, a vector that's like a, it's, it's a, a parallel. It's like a tangent vector. Pretty cool, right? So it's going to be like, so if you were at here, right, it'd look like this. So it wants us to find our prime of t at a certain point of t. So let's say our prime of 0, because we did that. It's going to be equal to 2e to the 0, so it's going to be 2, and then e to the 1. All right, so let's go back to our point. We know that this is where t is equal to 0, it's point 1, 1, and it goes off 2 in the x direction, so like over here, and 1 in the y direction. So boom, and as it checks out, it's parallel, it's, uh, it's tangent. So yeah, that's everything. Uh, so that's based on these common problems. It's actually pretty straightforward, you just kind of plug stuff in, and uh, yeah. So yeah, good luck on your crowd homework, guys.